Okay, um, imagine going on to this uh, battlefield in, in uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's beautiful, it's quiet, but when you really think about it, uh, you know, you can, just, you can just walk through and you can imagine seeing, you know, blood being spilled. It's one of the, um, one of the, I say, in my opinion, one of the dark periods that uh, this country uh, went through. Um, this is, it was known as the uh, the war between the states, and basically the uh, South thought that their that their rights were being threatened, that the government was taking um, taking them away. They thought that um, they thought that uh, they were being asked too much. Uh, slavery was a big issue, but by them as and. And uh, so what they, what the South decided to do was secede from the Union. Um, President Lincoln didn't like that, so he uh, decided to uh, take military measures and go, go in and try to get them to unsecede, for like, because I don't know the better word. And that's what happened. So and that brings us to the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, what during the course of the war. There was over 50,000, I'm sorry, no, the course of the battle, there was 50,000 casualties. That's just over a period of just three days. Um, I th I'd say, what, the, the Iraq War and the Afghanistan Wars were going on, what, since 2001, 2002? And I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm sure, I don't think it's it's top 50,000 yet. But uh, it was a major uh, turning point in the war because at that point, the uh, Confederates, they didn't have much. They, they didn't have everything that the, uh, what, what they, didn't, they didn't have what they needed at their disposal, a lot like the, um, uh, the Union did. And so after uh, the, this, this battle, actually uh, depleted a lot of their forces and a lot of uh, what, what they had. So, um, during the battle, they say there's many battles within the battle. Um, I mean, one of the ones that's most memorable was called, it's called the Battle of Little Round Top. The, um, the colonel was of the Union Army was Joshua Ch Chamberlain, and that was the very back of the line. And the Confederates had made it through. And they kept coming and coming and coming didn't work. Uh, it, I mean, sorry, they couldn't hold them back. They were all they were out of bullets, and they let it led a heroic charge down through to um, to win this battle. Um, no, just one other uh, thing on a side note. I got this from uh, Gettysburg.com. It's a little gross, but it said the last remains were actually found in 1994. So that was running for I mean, over what 130 years, and. Um, what, and one thing I forgot to say about the um, about the battle. One reason that Robert E. Lee was the, his commander of the uh, of the um, Confederate troops. He wasn't ready because his cavalry um, his was not um, was not there. They're basically the eyes of the army, and so he had no idea any, anything of what was going on. So he was basically forced into battle, having no idea what was going on. So I read in a in a book called it's called it's simply called the Civil War by Bruce Catton. His um, his um, cavalry officer is named was named uh, Jeb Stuart, and he didn't uh, arrive till day two of the of the actual battle. And it was a, it was a three day long battle, so they had no that was that was one big thing that had to do with their downfall. Um, there are many American heroes. One I've already named what Joshua Chamberlain, uh, Robert E. Lee, the um, Leader of the Union Army was uh, General George Meade. He, he was brand new, and uh, towards the end of the battle, the um, one of the uh, generals from the, um, uh, the the Confederate side, his name uh, George Pickett, uh, came up with this plan to charge at all of them with I'm sorry to charge at the um, uh, the Union Army with the entire Virginia division. And what happened uh, there was um, was act actually tragic. He was really uh, cocky. He thought that he could win it. Every single man in that 
division. This is, I mean, this is a, this is a fair three thousand men were, were killed, and that was, and so with that, it lowered morale. Uh, ended up losing the war, and at the um, the Gettysburg Address in a, in a book I read with uh, Lincoln, he said that you know the war, you know, it 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 will be forgotten. And if you ever go to um, Gettysburg, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, they're doing everything they can to keep it um, in America's memory. And a lot of the um, effects of the war, um, it eventually um, ended slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation by uh, Abraham Lincoln. And so I can't think of anything else. I'll just say that, you know, basically... I've done my best to tell you a little bit of a history of the war, the battle itself, and the effects of the war.